Dr. Hogan here with the Sports Pod. Today we're going to go over a modification for our straddle pancake, a move that we like to use a lot because it's great at both opening up the hips and creating control through those hips while maintaining a flat back. We found a lot of people have trouble doing this on the floor, so we find if you get on a box to kind of elevate your hips up a little bit and make this a little bit easier. So we have a 12 inch box here. See, I'm nice and wide and my straddle toes are pointed, knees are locked out. Before we start, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We wanna keep our back flat. We're gonna hinge at the hips. So we're gonna come down nice and slow, under control. And we're gonna go as deep as we can while maintaining that neutral spine. We start to round forward if you've gone too far. So flat back, hold. And then under control, we're gonna come right back up. We're going to do a few reps here, go down under control, squeezing the glutes, keeping the back flat, back up. straddle and you're having difficulty on the floor, we can take a box, we can sit on a chair, you put a yoga block under the hips to just kind of elevate you up and that'll allow you to get to the straddle pancake with a little more ease. Remember to focus on nice big chest, back is flat and hinging from the hips as we go down towards the floor. 